Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We do a lot of DIY projects. We help people with the design, get the coverages required, get the treatment types required, uh, send them the plans, and then uh, they purchase the materials that go inside. They build the units and install them. Sounds like a pretty simple process, but you know, things don't go as well as planned sometimes, you know. Too many cooks in the kitchen, I think, is a, is a good way to say this. We do the design work, but people don't follow the instructions. They try to cut a little corner here and cut a little corner there. And, you know, they have these ideas that they don't make any sense when it comes to physics and acoustics. So you, you try to align, you know, the physics, the requirements of the physics, you know, with the, the people that are, are doing the project. And hopefully, you know, everybody's communicating properly. But when we get a project that really comes together as designed and as built and installed, the results are well worth the effort. And, and this is a project uh, for that. Reverb is the problem. We know that. How long a sound stays around in a room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. Has a direct impact on speech intelligibility. SI is the index here. We want to try to hear eight out of every 10 words in a sentence. That's the goal for churches. That's our goal. Some want a little bit higher, but you don't want any lower than that, especially as the congregation ages and matures. So we go for that 80%. What's the biggest culprit in the room? Sidewalls, as in any room, because we have the direct energy from source, usually speakers if it's a PA or somebody on stage or a band or whatever is going on up front. It's that straight line direct energy that gets interfered with, with the reflected sound from the side walls and the rest of the surface areas in the room. So what's our goal? Well, we want to lower the time signature of those reflections. Cheap chalk. Time signature of those reflections. So that's the goal. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we absorb, right? We look at the frequency and amplitude of the problem on that wall surface, and then we apply the proper rate and level of absorption here. That's what we're going for. We're not going to add diffusion. Diffusion makes reverb times worse. So you got to be careful with diffusion. I get a lot of calls from people, well, I want to build some diffusers. And my first question is why? And do you have your reverb times in the room managed? Both of those answers are met with uncertainty. So this is a, you know, a recipe for failure again. So when we get a project like this, I like to point out that you can do it right, it's 100% fixed, and it's 100% right, and you don't have to mess with it no more. Who wants to deal with reverb all day long? It ruins everything. So you want to get it fixed, and you want to do it right in the beginning. Mail and voice in churches are all about reverb. So you got to use the proper treatment. It requires a linearity. You can see here in our foam graphic, you can't beat it. It's a smooth response. If you're going to treat a problem, you have to have a medicine that is smooth in dealing with it, right? Especially with reverb. You overabsorb, it's too dead. You underabsorb, it feels like you spent money and got nothing done. So that's the thing. Type, tap, proper treatment type, amount, and the position of it. Always start with the sidewalls. Go to the ceiling next if you have to, and then front and rear. Sometimes we go to the rear, sometimes we go to the ceiling. That's the thing about reverb. So when you run the numbers and you get the square footage of coverages, you can see here in this project, we're over 50% in surface area coverage. That's what it takes. You can't put a panel here or a panel there or the here. It's surface area coverage, the type of treatment you, you use, and where you place it. You don't get, if you put just two of those, look, I don't know how many panels are on those walls, but if you look at putting one or two, which I see in most installations, don't bother. Because you've got to reach, you know, a critical mass. You've got to reach a certain percentage of coverage to have an audible impact. This system here is unique because it moves. Covering up glass. Glass is the worst service. When we do analysis with rooms full of glass, I have to double the variables for distortion. It's horrible. So you don't want it. So this is a unique approach. 
works in smaller rooms, you know, larger rooms, 30, 35, 40 foot ceilings wouldn't work in that situation. So every situation is a little different. This is a great project, DIY church project done right. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.